I've got questions. Well, they're easily answered. We'll see. Hey, everybody, it's Jay Z Crazy. Happy Friday. Okay, now, this is the thing. I just came from the bathroom. Oh, God. <laughs> and I always notice something different in there that Lisa does. This isn't really different, but it's still a question in my mind, why? Go on. You love to mix stuff all the time. Sure. For example, if we buy one container of soap in uh, the store. Oh, I buy two or three. No, it's not a matter of how many you buy. This is the thing. My question is why when we get something like soap, why do you always feel the need to mix it with other things? She's like the mad scientist. I don't understand. Like for example, this is clearly not. It's soap. No, hold on. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> Everybody calm down. <laughs> this is how it's meant to come from the store. This. I, honest to God, have no clue what the hell this is. Because you can clearly see it's watered down. It's so my question to you, hold on, uh -huh. let me get this out. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get this out. <coughs> Why is this one nice? That's new. Why is this one all messed up? Because I poured a different kind of soap in there. It's not meant for your hands. I put it in there for my bath. I mix some soap in there. That's for my bath for later. I leave it in there. Why would you not use this for your bath? Because that's hand soap. This is not all watered. Okay. That's not hand okay, soap. Hold on. This is not hand soap? That's hand soap. That's not. Right. It's clearly hand soap. But it says the, spa soap, creamy milk and honey, moisturizing hand soap. But now, now, hold on. You asked me a question. I know, but you have to go slow for me. The synapses only operate at a certain pace. This is in the same container, though. Yeah, but I know the difference because it looks different. But I don't know the difference. <laughs> That's the thing. So now when I go into the bathroom no, no. and I think I'm getting pure hand soap, no, I not. go and maybe... For instance, without looking, I pick this up. No, you don't. What because, do you mean, no, I don't? You can't tell me what I do in no, the bathroom. No, you you don't, don't know. Are you, you in the bathroom <clears throat> yes. in there with me? Yes. You are? And the hand I pump, never see her. The hand pump is what we use for the soap. Those are refills. That's how I know that you're not using that. No, I'll tell you why I wouldn't use this. Clearly, it's been tampered with. Yes, that's a different soap altogether. But in why do you put it in the same container as the one that hasn't been tampered with? Because that's my bath soap. It's bubble bath. Then why don't you put like a label on it that says to. bath soap? That no. way I know, that just for me, out of common courtesy. No. I guess that's asking too much for her <laughs> to have common courtesy. In this, okay, so now... That explains this, yep. although I don't think it's a great explanation. It's she explained it to the best of her ability. Yeah, that's bad. What is, I'll put these over here. Now, what's the deal with this one? It's just because that's what's left after I filled in the pump. So inside. after you fucked up this one, yep. you still have this. Yes, it's just regular. And this is the one you haven't touched ever. Yeah, it's just none gone from it. That's all. And then once that hand soap in there is gone, that goes in the garbage. I hope you realize that by mixing the hand soap with some water, it does... That's not water. What? I just told you, it's, it's bubble bath. I poured it in there. I just didn't like Why the Why don't you container. get special bubble bath? I did. I poured it in there. It's the okay, where is the bubble bath container? It's I want to see that. It's in the garbage. It's too small. Why don't you get a bigger size bubble bath container? They didn't have it. So I if they had a bigger sized one with just bubble bath, yeah, would, would that be in the bath? Yes, bath? yeah, that would be. That would be in the shower instead of this concoction. Yeah.
But because they didn't have any more of the big ones, I bought two small ones and poured it in there. So you... I'm just using the bottle. That's no, this, it. This, this isn't a bit. I'm not even joking. Just seriously, I'm trying to understand. I swear to you, I'm not even trying to be funny. Okay, let me get this straight. You take the hand soap, right? Yep. And then you mix half of the hand soap. No. I don't mix half of the hand soap. This is clearly... No, that's just, that's just bubble bath by itself. That's nothing mixed into it. That bottle that's half. But it's the same color. That's it's the hand soap. Yeah, the, I can see it. It's yeah, the same color. It was a little bit, a tiny bit, still in there when I poured the bubble bath. In it's there. clear that some of this hand soap is in here. Yeah, because you can't get all of it out because of the bottle. Because if this was just bubble bath, it wouldn't even be this color. I know. Okay, what color is the bubble bath? Clear. It has no color. This one, this one smells good, actually. Yeah, because, this smells better than just the hand soap. That's because it's bubble bath. It's not it's just hand soap. And it was like literally like, uh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. It's going to get on the table. Too um, late. Yeah, I just poured it in there and it was just, it was like literally like a little skimming of hand soap and that was it. To be honest with you, this, this hand soap smells disgusting. <laughs> I've never noticed it. I've been using it. It smells fine on my hands, yeah. but out of the bottle, I don't like it. Why don't we switch the kind of hand soap we, we did, buy? and you hated it. I think I'm hating this one, too. No, you hated the other one on your hands. You're like, I don't know what this hand soap is, but I don't like it. And so I switched it from the aloe vera to that, and you like this one better. I don't... What kind of brand bubble bath do you buy? Um, shame brand is that. No wonder it looks the same. Spa soap? Mm hmm. Is this from Dollar Tree? It's from the Dollar Store. Yeah, Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar the one near us, Dollar Tree. The Dollar Store. Uh, just, the Dollar Store near us is Dollar Tree. I just call it the Dollar Store. Fine. If you looked up at the sign when you get there, what's it say? Dollars. <laughs> I knew that would make you Does laugh. it have big green letters that spell out Dollar Tree? The weird thing is I don't pay attention to the sign. I just go in, get, and leave. Trust me. I've been there. It's Dollar Tree. It's a dollar store. Actually, it isn't. It's a dollar twenty-five store, store now. <laughs> if you want to go to a dollar <laughs> store, I'm not sure where you go. The 99 cent store. <laughs> I think they closed all of those down because, oh, they did? yeah, they weren't charging a dollar twenty-five, so they couldn't stay in business. <laughs> That's funny. I thought you used body soap before that was pink. Yeah, I mixed that too. Not in this you didn't. There's no pink. Yes, I have. Not just now, before. That's I what have. I'm saying. That's what I just said. It's a Not in this one. Yeah, it's a different one. Why don't you go get some of your other soap that you use? That's what I have now. I'm no, go go grab something else that looks nothing like any of this. It's I empty. Wanna, I want to smell soap. You can't. Why? It's because it's empty. I'm using that now. And you must have some more. No. You don't have any more. No. I have shampoo. I have... Okay, go get that. I want to smell that. Go get some of your shampoo... Stuff. I, I want to see. I get to see some of this. You, yeah, do that. Get some of the stuff you usually Why use for a shower. Me? I've got to see this. I know usually there's a bunch of pink shit in bottles all over the place. I know she's going to have some of that. Okay, I see you have two things. Where are all the pink bottles you usually have? I don't have any more. Okay, show me what you have. What did you just bring in here? I really wish you wouldn't mix stuff in with water because sometimes... That's not I water. 
I already told you. Okay, what it your was. shower stuff. It's w- bubble wa- bath. Your bubble bath is watery. It waters down this. Yes, it's watery by itself. Let me see that. What is this? Shampoo. Okay, let's forget about all this other stuff. Please. What is this? Shampoo. Silk essence? Yeah. That's not even how you pronounce it. It's silk, silkians. <laughs> You're laughing at me, but that's what it says. It just sounds funny hearing you say well, How do you pronounce this? I don't. I go- if you went into the store and you wanted some of this but didn't see any, so you see an employee working there, but you want this, how would you ask for it? Hi, do you have any more two-in-one shampoo pro formula? Instead of just saying the name, you would go through all that? Yeah, I'd rather. You would say, uh, do you have any pro formula two-in-one shampoo and conditioner? Yeah. They'd probably know it better by the, the Silkian's name. No. Wait a minute, it's a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. That's right. Know what you need? No. You need a three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I don't like those. It's disgusting. And they leave my hair feeling Disgusting. Gross. Yeah. This doesn't look disgusting at all. No, it's just soap. It's all watered down. It's supposed to be. It's bubble bath. I don't see where the rule book is where it says it has to be watered down because it's bubble bath. No, I mean, that's the consistency of the bubble bath I poured in there. This smells good. Why don't you just throw some of this shit in the bathtub? No, that's for my hair. Oh, why don't you mix some of this in? No. With this? Because it won't... Sh- I could do this now. Don't do, no, don't do that. I don't want those things mixed. You'll mess up. Why? You mix everything else up together. But those two things can't mix. All right, what's that other thing you brought in? Body wash. Let me see. No, because you'll try to mix it. I'm not mixing anything. I put it all over there. I'm going to mix it. Okay, this is purple. This is a purple label. This has a label that looks like whatever's inside it's would smell good. Right, but it's white, this stuff inside. That's okay. I'm not prejudiced. <laughs> it doesn't twist off. Just open up the cap. It better twist off because I can't smell it like this. I've never smelled a body wash that smells less like anything. (laughs) It's almost like cardboard. It looks like it would smell so nice by the label. And then you stick your nose in it and you struggle to smell anything. You realize there's like no odor to this, right? (laughs) You're laughing because you know it's true. Why would you not get the body wash that smells good? This doesn't even smell bad. It just smells like nothing. (laughs) What is that? What is this? This at least has an odor to it. Yup. This is like they took all the perfume or whatever they put in it. It's like they zapped it of all the aroma. Why would you even like this? It smells like an empty bottle. What is this? It's because it's Does it smell better if you mix it with water? No, it's just that it's, it's, it's more hypoallergenic for sensitive skin. Hypoallergenic? It doesn't smell like anything. No, meaning it doesn't. It's full, too. That's the funny thing. It's not even like it's an empty bottle. It's pretty much full, and it still smells like nothing. It's because I just bought it. Oh, you think it'll smell better a no, month or two down the road? This is why it's full. No, I'm saying if it's brand new, it should smell even better. But I didn't want the one that had more scent to it. I wanted that one. Oh, you got it. You got the body wash that smells like nothing. I'll give you that much. Why didn't you get some body wash for me? You didn't ask for any. When I said I was going to the store. I gave you some money. You asked for sponges. That's because we needed sponges. Right. But why don't you just 
pick me up a bottle of body wash from the dollar twenty-five cent store. Because I got sponges. <sighs> what was stopping you from getting both? The amount of money that I had. I gave you money for sponges. Uh huh. And I You're saying I should have gave you more money? Yes. You didn't have an extra dollar twenty-five no, cents. No, I didn't. You really leave the house with the least amount of money possible. Yes. If she ever gets stuck on the road, she's fucked. No, because because she has like no money. Why didn't you go into your debit card? Why don't you just use your debit card and then buy some? Nope. I know you have money in the bank. Nope. No, I didn't say I don't. I'm just not using it. I didn't bring it. God forbid you use a little bit of your money to buy me some body wash. No, I didn't bring it with me. What? You didn't bring what? You didn't bring your debit card? <laughs> <laughs> Who leaves the house with no debit card and no money except for sponges? Me. <laughs> Who does that? Me. I knew don't I... you ever plan ahead yeah. and say, maybe, no, obviously you don't. Yeah, I plan for sponges. Don't That's you it. think... Wow, if I'm out and something happens, I get stuck at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> or, I don't know, something bizarre happens, I cut my foot, I have to go to the hospital. 911. Right. But you have no money for it's... food or anything at the hospital. You, on your no, way they'll, back. They'll, they'll give me food, they always do. On your way back home, you would have no, you have no money to get home. <laughs> I have a bus pass. And if it's too late... And another thing is... Wait, I, no, no, wait, not finished. And if I'm at the hospital, I get a free ride home through my insurance. So stop it. Oh, and if I'm at the store and a nice person wants to give me a ride like that nice lady, she'll give me a ride. Or the 100 guys that can't take their eyes off of you. No, then I'll just get on the bus. Wouldn't you feel more comfortable... No. Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't it make more no. sense? Oh. <laughs> Wouldn't you feel no. better if <laughs> just no. know? <laughs> just in no. case. You For example, no. <laughs> you're hungry no. and you... Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> you still haven't hooked up your Uber account to your need, bank account. Don't need it. But you do. No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. If you're ever out stuck someplace, you have no money. And you, the only way to get home is an Uber. No, nope, You not. need to link up your bank account with the Uber app. Nope. Otherwise, the Uber app in your phone isn't going to do you any good. Uh, it'll be there. And I don't need it. Why put the Uber app in your phone if you're not going to link up with your bank account? I will at some point. Just not now. It takes two seconds. Don't need to. But you may. That's nope. the thing. You don't plan nope. ahead. You're going to be calling me to I'll, get you an Uber. I'll just walk. Say you're 90 miles away. You're just going to walk. <laughs> yeah, or I can just, you know what I would do? I would just uh, get a ride to the hospital and then get a ride from the hospital to home. Ta-da! Let's say a worst case scenario, you get kidnapped. Okay, By so what? some, what? By what? A maniac. <laughs> the same people that do all the other kidnappings. <laughs> so you get kidnapped, okay? So he drives 90 miles and... You have, then, a, you have a tracker on my phone. Listen. You'll know where I'm at. I know because I thought it was a good idea that we put trackers in each other's phones. That way you don't have to worry when I'm out because I actually feel more comfortable with you knowing where I am. But did Just I in case something stupid happens to me, she can open up her phone and see where I am. But I didn't say no to this. Because I'm not some kind of shady person who doesn't want you to know where I am. I know. I, I want you to know where I, I am. I didn't say no. Okay, so I didn't say no to it. That's why the tracker is even in your phone. I didn't. Because you needed the tracker in your phone to be able to track me. I didn't say no. No, I know. My point was I'm fine. Look. I, I didn't say no. Okay, now listen. I was going somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A 90-mile journey. 
until you just threw me off. Okay, so you get kidnapped, hypothetically. You'll know where I'm at. This maniac drives 90 miles and then stops the car at some 7-Eleven because he wants a big gulp. So while he's inside... No, I, he, I'll ask him to get me one, too. You're <laughs> locked in the trunk. Oh, okay. You're not asking him anything. Oh, okay. Okay, so for instance... I'll call 911. Okay, just listen. Just hear me out, okay? So, for instance, he goes inside to get his big gulp, and you're locked in the trunk. Yeah. But he didn't lock the trunk that good. What and did he use? A block of wood? I don't know. He didn't close it all the way. Hmm. So, you were able to pop the trunk open and get out, okay? With the tire iron? Whatever you want to use. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. Whatever shit he has in his trunk, you are able to open the trunk with. It works. It's fine. So, he's still inside. You pop yourself out of the trunk. Yep. Then you figure you need to like run a certain distance so he won't see you, okay? So you finally get a certain distance away. He thinks you're still in the trunk. So, okay, so he comes back with his big gulp <laughs> and his hot dog and his chips. And he, you see him leave, okay? He still thinks you're locked in the trunk. But you're not. You, you're safe now. You're, you're safe but the thing is, you need to get home. No. What I do then is go into that 7-Eleven, call 911, have the cops come there, then they take me home. Because it happened before. They're not driving you 90 miles. Uh, they have before. They would drive you to the end of town. Well, that's, okay. that's fine. They're not driving you 90 miles home. No. You're crazy if you think they are, because they're not. Uh, and you're going to need a way to get home. So, to bring me back to my original point, you should really link up your Uber app in your bank account so you have a way to pay for this ride. Because Uber's not picking your ass up if you don't link up your app well, to I your have, bank account. I have no plans on them picking me up without linking it to my account. Okay, you just got kidnapped. You're all upset. You think you're going to have the mindset to, start, to sit on the sidewalk by the side of the road and start linking up your accounts to Uber? No. You should do this ahead of time. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna sit on the curb and do it then, but I might do it in the back of the cruiser or at the police station. So you're just gonna wait till the last minute. Sure, why not? Because that's stressful. That's why not. It's stressful to wait till the last second to do things instead of having them already done and prepared. I don't want it linked up. I don't want it to accidentally charge something. I've seen that happen before. So why would you even bother putting the Uber app in your phone if you're so afraid to link it up? Oh, well, because after I link it up and use it that one time, I'll unlink it. Let's get back to the body <laughs> Yep. Still smells like nothing. Have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs> we'll see you Monday. <laughs> been Jay-Z crazy. <laughs>